Hi, I'm Carl. We're going to talk about tribal techs. Answer some of your questions. I'm Dr. Brahisov. Uh, I'd like to say thank you to the National Science Foundation and the American Society of Engineering Education for funding my fellowship here at Tribal Techs to do some of the good science. That's terrific. Well, been a lot of uh, questions and comments on the internet and in our live experience on social media, so we'd like to answer some of your comments. So, can you tell us about the product, Tribal Techs? I can. I've been working on this product for a while now. I do have to tell you, though, that these are my personal opinions and may not reflect the opinions of the National Science Foundation. They're also not paid for by Tribotex. Well, tell us a little bit about oil, how it's made, and why there are additives or why you would want to put an additive in, and a little bit about what is in that can of oil. So, in most oil today that you buy off the shelf, there are additives. There are additive packages that are geared towards each individual label. Uh, most oil is actually traditionally made by taking mineral oil, which is petroleum based, and adding additives to that mineral oil to make it perform better inside of an engine. So all oil will have additives because pure petroleum, pure mineral oil is not good enough to protect your engine. The issue with a lot of additives is they chemically interact to make the oil better. And so you have a lot of, a lot of molecules that do have toxicity. So uh, some of our, the additives may be going away. Uh, it's not that they're going away. Additives will never go away because oil will never perform to this as specifications get better. But as our environmental regulations get stricter, more safer alternatives are being looked at. And so like one example is chlorinated paraffins, which perform very well. They're phased out of more vehicles. They're only used in metal cutting fluids. And even there, they're trying to phase them out. Tribotex, however, does not chemically interact with the oil. We have a physical attachment, so we avoid the toxicity issues that a lot of these additives have. So how do you reverse wear? That's a good question, Carl. So let me show you a quick demonstration. These are two oil pumps. Both of them have had wear. They were in an engine. And you can see the scuff marks that were there from the gears. Well, you can feel it, too, on mm -hmm. this one. Now but on this one. one, you can see the wear as well. But you can't feel it at all, not even with a fingernail. Yes. So that, so that tell what happened there. Then. So what happens is the nanomaterials will stick there and fill in the, the scratches or the wear marks that are there from the metal. And when that happens, uh, you have a buildup of material in places where wear has occurred. So you have things like better compression ratios. You have material and bearings that was gone. Elliptical bearings become more round. And so you have a better performing engine like you had before the wear occurred. Well, I could see that once this oil pump has been built up, you would have lower oil pressure and then uh, more normal. Yeah, this is actually one of our uh, workhorse vehicles here at the company that we have loved and abused very often. And it has been running for a while now. I think it's 280,000, somewhere in there. Wow, that's substantial. Why can't we find this in the stores? Well, Tribotex has been in research and development mode for about a decade now to synthesize these molecules. Everything that we do is synthetic, so we make everything from the ground up. And about a decade of development, and we've been out on the market for only about nine months, since February of 2017. Well, that's exciting. And uh, sales, can you tell me what some of the comments were from the sales? We have a lot of happy return customers who have seen differences in their vehicles and notice the uh, sound differences almost right away with their engines. I saw a comment about an increase in fuel consumption. What's up with that? So that's a good question. Uh, fuel consumption, fuel efficiency are very confusing things because they're actually different. You know, it's how much gas you burn for how much, you, how much load you carry is fuel consumption. Fuel efficiency is a little bit of a different metric. Those metrics are hard to follow sometimes and there's multiple factors that affect it. I mean, the weather, driving style, you have tire pressure. We just recently went from summer to winter gas, which you, your fuel consumption should increase just because of the way the gas works. Uh, there's, you know, the way that your vehicle is running before and after. I mean, a lot of things matter, but what I would say from my personal perspective and opinion is I've seen sometimes the gas the fuel consumption start to go down in efficiency and come right back up while the coating is forming. So there is that intermittent period that I have noticed that in, in some of my own personal vehicles that I've tested, but I, would not, I wouldn't see a 10% decrease after you've gone the full time to coat the engine. I noticed that in my old Chevrolet that it started running so well that I was driving it more aggressively. That probably had some effect on my fuel economy. 
I mean, driving style and driver is a huge, even the time of day that you drive is gonna change the way you drive your car and that could change the way that your fuel economy. Yeah, after the morning coffee or on the way home from work, I think yeah. they're probably two different styles. Uh, it depends on the person, yeah, I guess, right? <laughs> Tribal Techs works great in my car. What other applications are there or you've heard of? So Tribal Techs works with mechanical systems that are lubricated. So a lot of uh, systems that have pumps or gearboxes work very well. Um, we would like to ask our customers who do enjoy our product to tell us what they would like to see us develop our product for. This is optimized for a vehicle. Obviously, our more industrial applications are fine-tuned to the systems. That so you've heard of some stranger applications. Do you have any that you can tell us about? Um, yeah, we've uh, actually formulated a few things for uh, experimental gun manufacturers, uh, pumps in big, bigger facilities. Uh, those are all ongoing research studies right now. Where can I buy Tribal Techs? So all the three versions, including the diesel and the big rig version, are available on uh, Amazon.com, uh, Prime, and shop.tribotex.com.